We're already into the fourth month of 2021 and I'm continuing my new way to make resolutions project. I made a whole video about it in January and I'll link it in the description down below. The basic idea is to achieve one new thing each month, a positive goal, and then add on to it each month. So by the end of the year, you'll have 12 new healthy habits and a healthier lifestyle. If you're just joining me, it's not too late to get started. You can jump in right now and start your journey this month. And this month, it's all about sleep. Making sure that you're getting enough sleep is an essential part of a healthy lifestyle. It's recommended that adults get at least seven hours of sleep each night. And children should have nine to 12 hours of sleep each night. One third of adults in the US report that they don't get seven hours of sleep. Not only does lack of sleep make people less productive, grumpy, moody, and more prone to accidents, getting less than the recommended amount of sleep may put you at risk for obesity, type two diabetes, elevated blood sugar levels, high blood pressure, heart disease, mental distress, and even early death. So for this month, my suggestion is to make getting enough sleep your goal. And I'm gonna talk about how exactly you can make this achievable. But first, if you're new here, my name is Amy. I'm an ISSA elite certified personal trainer, precision nutrition certified nutrition coach, and PSA ranked and rated figure skating coach. I work with skaters, families, individuals, and even other coaches. And I post at least three videos a week right here on YouTube. So if you're interested in videos that can help you with a healthier lifestyle, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell right next to it so that you never miss a video. Okay, now back to sleep. Many factors can cause a lack of sleep. Waking in the middle of the night or just poor sleep quality. Common suggestions for improving sleep include establishing regular habits like sleep times, reducing screen time, avoiding alcohol, avoiding large meals, and avoiding caffeine before bed. So take some time this month to learn about the importance of sleep health. Then evaluate your own sleep habits. Would you like to make changes to your current habits? Think about what you can do this month to help you find a path to better sleep. Here are some ideas. Keep a journal of your sleep patterns for a couple weeks. You may actually be doing better or worse than you think. Some phone apps and sleep trackers and fitness apps and devices like an iWatch can help you with this, but you can also just use good old paper and pencil and correlate other habits with a sleep journal. For example, do you sleep less after you've been drinking alcohol or if you've exercised in the evening? What about if you've watched a movie and stayed up late? Do you sleep better after eating certain foods? Foods that promote better sleep include tart cherries, walnuts, protein foods, foods that have tryptophan, like turkey, and whole grains. Try spending some quiet time and relaxing before bed. This might include a hot shower, a bath, or meditation. And there's some fitness apps that can offer you guided meditations. There's also other videos on YouTube that do that too, if, if that's something you wanna do. Skipping breakfast or skipping other meals is often also associated with low sleep quality. Planning a healthy breakfast ahead, such as overnight oatmeal or muesli, may help you eat better and sleep better too. Evaluate your sleeping environment. Would blackout curtains help? What are your thoughts on weighted blankets? How about new sheets or aromatherapy? And whether you get new sheets or not, try washing your sheets more often, a couple times a week. The smell and feel of clean sheets can be very relaxing. I know it is for me. Regular aerobic exercise can also help you sleep better. Just don't do it within a few hours of bedtime. You'll be too keyed up. If you're not already exercising, adding about 10 minutes of activity a day can really help you out with your sleep. And speak with your doctor if you think you have a reason, a medical reason for a lack of sleep. Those might include snoring, sleep apnea, restless leg syndrome, and insomnia. Remember, take small steps, but be consistent. Research demonstrates that keeping our gut biome healthy may benefit our immune systems, waistlines, and risk of chronic disease. But did you know that your gut microbiome can also impact your sleep? 
You know that I love to provide you with evidence-based research, so here you go. A new study from Japan conducted on mice included a control group and an experimental group. The experimental group was given a concoction of antibiotics for four weeks that depleted their intestinal bacteria. Researchers evaluated the differences in intestinal contents between these mice and the control group of mice. Both sets of mice ate the same exact diet. They compared the metabolites. These are bits and pieces of broken down food from digestion. They compared them between each group. What the researchers found were more than 200 metabolite differences between the two groups of mice. Roughly 60 normal metabolites were gone in the group with the depleted gut bacteria. Some differed in the amount and some had more or less than the control group of mice. The researchers then investigated what the function of the metabolites was. They discovered that the biological pathways that were impacted the most by the antibiotic treatment were those needed to make neurotransmitters. These are the compounds that your brain uses to communicate with each other. One example was the tryptophan serotonin pathway. It was nearly completely shut down giving the depleted mice more tryptophan than the control group, but almost no serotonin. So what does this mean? Well, it indicates that the depleted mice couldn't make any serotonin from the tryptophan that they ate without the gut microbes. Scientists also discovered that the mice had B6 deficiencies, which would increase the production of serotonin and dopamine. Also, the research team evaluated how the mice slept by examining their brain activity. Compared to the control group of mice, they saw that the depleted mice had more REM and non-REM sleep at night when mice are generally active and less non-REM sleep in the daytime when mice should typically be sleeping. So the depleted mice had sleep-wake cycles that were switched more frequently than the control group. One of the scientists believes that sleep abnormalities resulted from the lack of serotonin. The exact reason still needs to be evaluated. The team did discover that wiping out the gut microbiome eliminated gut serotonin. And they recognized that serotonin levels in the brain can impact sleep-wake cycles. While more research is still needed in this area, here are some tips for gut health and sleep hygiene. Limit the use of antibiotics unless absolutely necessary. And always consult with your doctor about this. Eat a variety of plant-based foods, high in fiber, including fruit, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds, beans, and lentils. Drink plenty of water, stay hydrated, and keep your bowels regular. Limit processed sugar, high fat foods, because this can impact your gut microbiome. Go easy on the alcohol. It impacts your gut microbiome too. Reduce caffeine intake to prevent insomnia and avoid all caffeine after 2 p.m. Step away from your screens, TV, phones, tablets, at least three hours before bed. Blue light from these screens help keeps your brain awake. Avoid taking long naps during the day because they can throw off your sleep-wake cycle. Establish a bedtime routine and go to bed at the same time each night. Exercise regularly to help tucker yourself out. And if you need help with your health and fitness journey, I have a ton of free resources on my website. Just go to amyricka.com slash freebies. There's lots of stuff there, including the goal setting guide, which if you're just getting started with your monthly resolutions can really help you out. But you can get as many of those freebies as you'd like as my gift to you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you think it could benefit someone else, share it with them and on your social media too. And remember to subscribe and tap that bell so that you never miss a video. This is Amy. Thank you for watching. I will see you real soon. Bye.